the lens implant that you put back in there, are there different ones and how do you select the ones? So there's all lens implants come in different powers. And so when we're doing uh, an evaluation for, for a cataract surgery, there are some measurements that, that are done in order to choose the correct lens power. Now there's also different lens types. So the, the physician is always gonna choose the lens power uh, for, for a patient. But the lens type is something that the patient really gets to choose. So there's three general kinds of lens implants. There's a, a standard lens. This is gonna sort of be boutique lens replacement. So it can be. A three kinds, first kind? So the, the first kind is what would be considered a standard lens. That's what's normally covered by insurance. And generally speaking, a standard lens will help with the distance vision, but doesn't do anything uh, for the up close vision and does not do anything for something called astigmatism, which some people have. So, but it lets the eye come, the light come in through the lens back to the retina, back to the back part of the eye yes. perfectly. Yes, it's very helpful. Uh, best case scenario with a, with a standard lens, people either just need reading glasses or maybe a light pair of bifocals. Number two. So uh, the second type would be what's called a toric lens. A toric lens can help reduce or eliminate the astigmatism. So if, if someone has astigmatism, they've usually heard that word. It, astigmatism just has to do with the shape of the cornea, which is the clear dome uh, in the front of the eye. So the clear dome in front of the eye will determine whether you can't see out or you can see close, or is that the lens? Which one of those determines how you look? So if someone has a lot of astigmatism, it, it, it makes the vision worse both in distance and up near. Gotcha. And so usually people's astigmatism is simply treated with glasses or contacts, but it can be uh, reduced or eliminated with a lens implant at the time of cataract surgery, if so, needed. So back to this lens replacement, how does it work? With, a, with the uh, number two kind. So, so the number two kind would be the toric lens. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's the same kind of lens Im implant. The only difference is uh, astigmatism, is, astigmatism is basically power in a certain direction. And so when we put a, an astigmatism correcting toric lens implant, that lens implant has to go in a certain direction. But basically from a patient's perspective, it's the same. Third kind? So the third kind is what's considered a multifocal lens. Now, this is fairly new, last three or four years, or maybe time's gone on. Tell me what a multifocal lens is. So a multifocal lens, they've actually been around uh, for probably over 10 years. Wow. Uh, so of course that technology just keeps getting better. Time flies and technology it, does improve. It, it so absolutely. what's it like, multifocal, that means it can focus a lot of different ways. How does it right. do that? What's, what's so the, the main difference, uh, the standard lens I mentioned to you primarily helps with distance. The multifocal lens can give you distance and up close. So, and depending on the multifocal lens can sometimes actually correct the astigmatism also. So how does it do that? So these lens implants have different, uh, like little circular rings on the lens implant itself. Uh -huh. And what those lenses, what those rings do is they kind of break the light up into different focal points. Ah, so it makes it where if you use the multifocal, you can just look out far and see it and look in close and see it? Yes, sir. Do you ever need glasses with that one? Does it work good? Do they quit? Do those circles quit working? Inside? So the circles never quit working. Now, sometimes one of the main side effects, potential side effects, besides the extra cost, because uh -huh. those aren't covered by insurance, uh, is some halos uh, at night. That's not usually debilitating, but it's certainly something some people will, will experience. 